Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bad Guys at Repair Switch. I do have the previous episode we played as Eden and we had a great old time. And this time, I am just really feeling Tainted Maggie. I don't know, like I like I said, there's probably some characters that we haven't played in a little while that I need to get back to. I think Tainted Lilith is one of the ones as well. But I'm just really feeling Tainted Maggie. We're going to go Dark Path this time or Mother. Either one would work. And let's see if we can get something good going. Flush is a very good item here. Um, so very happy to have it. Do not touch me. Do not steal my flushy flushy. I do not want it. Please don't. Please don't touch me. I hate these flies so much. God damn it. <laughs> I tried so hard. Um, right, let's uh, let's go in here real quick while we have the 10 parts going. Cool. Let's grab you as well. Grab that. We'll take a pill. Paralysis? Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, flush, honestly, a pretty damn good item. Essentially, any uh, poop-based boss is going to insta-kill for us. And on top of that... It's just going to clear out big rooms really, really quickly for us. So if we see a room that we really don't like the look of, we can easily clear it out, which I absolutely love the idea of doing. Um, I think it's going to help out a bunch. And it's an item that I think before I relatively underrated it, and now I relatively rate it. <laughs> it did get a little bit of a buff. It used to be a six-room charge, so it's not like completely... Ooh, Soul of uh, Judas isn't exactly the best, but I'll take it. Soul of Eden. <laughs> What's going on exactly? Um, lots and lots of souls right now. I might souls off our uh, our boss item depending on what we get. Right, let's jump in. Oh, we got like a little Edmund dude there. Look, little Edmund keeper. <laughs> I love that. Don't accidentally use that, by the way. The uh, the soul of Eden there. Right, pop on into our boss fight here. Let's just use Yum Heart. I didn't mean to flush. I meant to use Yum Heart. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's be careful. We're taking a bit of damage here. Okay, good. Do you know what would be really good? The blind rage trinket. Getting more iframes after taking damage would would suit this character very nicely. Okay, let's not die. I am taking a bit too much damage from uh, from famine here, which is surprising because for instance, famine's not exactly hard. Okay, can I can I stop taking damage now, please? My goodness, I took way too much damage there. It's okay though, because this guy is going to give us a cube of meat. That I probably am gonna reroll. I do realize that cube of meat could be pretty good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna d20 it anyways. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. This... Yes, lusty blood, very very worthwhile going for. Right, so we're looking at dark path at the minute. So let's just go down. Um, do be careful for our deal with the devil coming up here. We need to make sure we get some hearts before we end up doing anything with that. Let's run on in. Get in here. Let's soul of Judas on these guys. But yes, Lusty Blood instead. What a great trade for us. What a great trade indeed. Um, and Sulfuric Acid here. What an insanely good item. Sulfuric Acid is one of my favorite items because it's just unlimited bombs. We can find every secret room, get to every chest, everything. It's so good. There you go. Secret room. Good, good. Oh, look at the little keeper. I love these, these new keepers. They're so good. Right, let's jump in here. Checking out everywhere we can. We do have a Pandora's box here, which might be kind of useful. We'll go for that if we if we can get it. I do apologize. I got the hiccups for some reason. I don't quite know where they've come from, but they are here to stay, apparently. Let's let's hope they don't interrupt the episode too much. If we lose that devil deal here, I'm not going to be super sad, but I'd rather not lose it if we can muster that. But yes, getting... Um... Oh, come on now. I need to get health so I can protect my devil deal here. But I'm having trouble with it. Right, we do get a small damage upgrade as well from um, Sulfuric Acid Tears. But that's pretty good. Okay, we are good. And now we have Flush. We also have Yum Heart that we can use here like that. Flush, there you go. Petrified Poop here would be very, very nice. We'll see if we can get that along the way somewhere. Okay, done. Don't take too much damage here. There you go. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly check on this wall here. Could be secret room. It is not. Um, This wall here could also be secret room. It is not. That's okay. That's okay. We are doing just fine. Just fine. Let's keep on moving on. Okay. Now we're kind of in the midst of destroy everything by walking into them. Soul hearts here don't exactly matter for us, but we are going to be losing them, but I will take them nonetheless. Why wouldn't I? 
Oh, we got a, a super and um, a super uh, rock there. What are you gonna call them? Super secret tinted rock. The oh door stops pretty good. Um, yeah, super secret tinted rock. The I don't know. Will this take two sulfuric acids? It will. And there you go. That small rock. Lovely, lovely. We are now in a good place for our tears. Definitely a better place than we were before. I very much like that. Extra heart here is great. Immediately going to do that. <laughs> walk in, walk out, job's done. Flushing down the toilet. Right, we probably should spend a bit of time trying to go fetch fried poop here. I'm always a bit... Uh, it's, it's the one thing I don't like about Tainted Maggie. Is I feel like I do have to play significantly faster than normal to make sure my health isn't draining. But we got petrified poop. So it all, all, all has worked out. All has worked out. Right. Flush petrified poop here. Gonna be good stuff. Where's all our poops? Ah, oh, they disappear if you leave the room early. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Lisa's a fair person. That is a reference to a show that literally no one here watches. But I'm gonna reference it anyways. So why not? I say literally no one here watches. Some people on my Discord have been watching Peep Show with me recently. Oh, there you go. We found it. Um, and it's a very, very, very good secret room as well. Awesome. This is very good. Oh, Binky. Yes. Okay. Tainted Maggie. One of the most fun characters. What a great run this is. Right, let's go. Defeat our boss. And see what we can get going on with that. We have plenty of soul hearts to run into the boss with as well. Of course, we're going to go for Angel Deal. Tainted Maggie just is way more preferred for the Angel Deal, to be honest. Oh, we do have... Um, we do have this over there, one minute. I'll quick, click, quickly make my way through here. Um, I'm going to buy this and just use it. I can't remember what this gives, but yeah, that was actually kind of worthwhile. And then we'll buy this as well. And then we'll jump through here and we'll open up this. We get ourselves a chariot card, which is actually pretty decent. We'll do that. Get a chariot card at the ready. 10 keys, 6 bombs. My god. Not that we need bombs at all, but still, that's very, very nice. Give us Dingle. Dingle would be a very nice boss here for us. It's Plum, unfortunately, which doesn't really help. You know what? Get destroyed. <laughs> Get destroyed. We'll grab that, and we'll head on down. We're definitely going Dark Path here. But yes, Lusty Blood here was such a good pickup as well. I'm hoping we get some on-hit effects, something that's going to be kind of unique and interesting for Tainted Maggie here. I love the fact that with this character, Tainted Maggie, you can get so many items that are normally so worthless that feel so much better to play with as her. Um, so we're, we're really going to be on the lookout for those types of items. Anyways, let's flush on this room here. Then we can destroy our poops. Petrified poop synergy is really nice here. Whoopsie. I will destroy all the mushrooms I can as well. Fire rate's going to be really good here because it means sulfuric acid's going to proc a bit quicker. Which is always nice for us. Saves us a bit of time. Get nothing there. Of course, we are going to waste a bit of time with our health slowly draining when we're doing sulfuric acid and all that business. But that's just kind of par for the course, really, isn't it? Don't worry about that too much. Right, keep on going. I'm not going to use my uh, my lethal hugs while I have soul hearts that I don't need to drain. Not that they're super valuable to us anyways, but you know what I mean. What's, what's really the point if we don't have to? Hard rooms get destroyed by our flush. And petrified poop should hopefully give us some drops. Sadly, not this time. Leo here. Um, kind of an interesting one. We don't really need it, but I guess we'll take it. We got sulfuric acid, so Leo really doesn't help us that much. But I, I guess, whatever. <laughs> Whatever you want, game. Quickly check for secret rooms here. No thank you. No secret rooms there. Alrighty then. Well, yum heart now. Keep on making our way through. Here's a room that I'm definitely going to just walk into things on. It's just too simple. Too easy. Sadly, nothing there that we want. Secret rooms, where are you? Did we check? Okay, we can't. I was going to say, did we check that room? We, we might not have done, but it's definitely not there. Not there either. Is it here? Not there. Okay. We're not really having a good time on finding the secret room right now. But again, not a massive problem. We should be okay. Like, we'll find it eventually. We can literally, yeah, search every single one until we do. Whoa! Look at that guy! I love these new little keepers. 
So cool. There's a few little Easter egg ones, apparently, and I'm guessing this is one of them. Some of the more unique ones. Okay, good. Ah, fuck me. It's okay, it's okay. We're, we're down to, uh, we're down to red health again, but that's fine. Pop in here real quick, and we're back up to black health. <laughs> good stuff. Oh, these new bomb impacts as well. Some really great visual mods out there at the moment. I highly recommend people giving them a giving them a look over. There's some really good stuff going on at the minute with the modding community. Very impressive. Got ourselves a, a, a card. Pretty nice card here actually for us. Yeah, that. Where's our second secret room going to reside here? I'd imagine in this room here somewhere. Do you know what? Yeah. That was a room where that was super worthwhile. Probably here. There we go. I love being able to find all the secret rooms like this. It's so good. Right. Draw you. And quickly put that out. Yeah, I knew you were going to try that. Put that out. Do that. Consolation prize is fantastic here. It's speed as well. We, we actually were quite in need of some speed. I'm very happy with the speed there. Can we go? And we'll probably just black out into our boss straight away. Do a bit of extra damage. And then Yum Heart. I don't know what you spawned there, but it died immediately. It obviously wasn't a great idea. Okay, it was a few of these dudes. Okay, you popped up on top of my creep there as well, didn't you? Again, not a great idea. Health? Health. Yes, and an angel deal on top of that. Great. Um, one damage down to half a heart, you gain one soul heart. That's actually kind of good. I guess. Uh, not super good, but as this character, it's definitely got its merit. Uh, we don't need Mega Satan. No, we don't. Down we go. And I'm just going to use the Sun card on the next floor. Actually, no. Let's hold off on it because we might be able to get a sack room and do a, bit of, do a bit of goodness with that. I think that's kind of the best use case for us right now. But yeah, getting this extra heart here puts us in a way better position. You could calm down enemies. My goodness. My goodness, goodness. That's a lot of poopies. I'm starting to think that these poops maybe don't get affected by petrified poop. Oh, also, why don't we just walk on them? So much quicker. So much quicker. Let's use that real quick. Good. Extra bomb. Quickly check out on all of these. Good, good. We'll check on this one as well. Why not? And this one as well. You, I mean, there's just no point in not checking, like I said earlier. It's just, it's super, super quick and simple to check them all. So why not? Secret rooms can be anywhere. They can be in places that you don't expect sometimes. There you go. Ow. I kind of expected that to happen, really, but hey -ho. I'm going to take a pill. It's a tears up. Super worthwhile. Come on, mushrooms. Give me something beautiful. Come on. Liberty Cap? No, thank you. Right. This is a six room. Honestly, oh, we, we really don't want to reroll this run. This run's got some legs right now. I don't feel the need to reroll this run at all. I really don't. Okay. I kind of want you guys to come over here before I kill you so I can get your hearts. There you go. Not always going to happen, but if it can, I shall make it. Good, good. Bozo. We had this item last time, actually. A fantastic item for uh, this. Small amount of damage, fearing and charming enemies, but more importantly, on damage can sometimes get rainbow poops. I like the idea of that a lot. Okay, back up to full. Great stuff. Come on, sacrifice room. Where are you? But yeah, we should see rainbow poops from time to time here. It's not going to be super common, but it should hopefully not be uncommon either. A guppy item off the bat there as well. Really, really nice. But yeah, when we have uh, when we have our health going on with Yum Heart, we can just be super, super, super risky and just run into everything. I love that about this character. It's like just no fucks given sort of sort of damage. This is good. Um, 
charging stuff up doesn't really matter for us, sadly. I was hoping for the, uh, the lovely little crane game, but we don't get so lucky. So we've already found first secret room, haven't we? Yes, we have. So we're looking for second secret room at the moment. Of course, big room here, we just do that really quick. I don't know why I'm destroying these, because we can't get over there. But I'm taking the time to do it for some reason anyways. Okay, so now we're Yum Heart. Like I said, we can take the risk while we have Yum Heart available. Second secret room. Where are you? Where are you? Could be off of this room. Shop should be here. Yes, indeed it is. Sadly, the shop has been a bit of a letdown. A little bit of a letdown indeed. No worries though. We can deal with it. Okay, can I not take so much damage, please? Oh, just missed that. God damn it, just missed it. Just make sure we use our sun card to keep our angel deal alive, if need be. Right. Sacrifice room, sacrifice room, sorry. Yeah, second secret room. Yeah, thought so. Cursed eye. Just can't do it. Cursed eye is just not the, not the thing at the moment here. This is a hard uh, hard boss fight for us, so let's uh, use our bombs to our advantage. Are you kidding me? You popped your head out for like two seconds there. Good, good. Blue cap here is real nice. More HP. More fire rate. Our health is in a very, very good position now. And this is just a fun-ass run. I'm really hoping for like one or two more just really cool synergies. Do that straight away. Anytime we enter a big room, I'm just automatically popping this. What's the point in not? There's our first Bozo. It's not super useful. It's more, Bozo is more kind of the thing that's going to be really useful on boss fights and stuff. But if we can get it, we will. Get one more hand coming down. And what do we get here? Eh. Eh. It's actually not terrible, but it's also not great. Okay, yeah, we've, we've been having a really good luck streak with, um, with Cash Rooms there, so I can kind of accept the fact that we got a bad one finally. The Sun again, so we're going to use this one because we've already got one. So no Sack Room yet again, unfortunately. Check in here. Single brown chest. To me, that just isn't worth the effort, honestly. Oh, that was kind of stupid. I accidentally destroyed the rock that was holding that thing back from killing me. Whoop. Run on through. We should be fine. Again, another room like this where we just instantly want to be getting rid of uh, a threat. And we can destroy all of these as well because it's really simple to do so. Uh, we got ourselves a two of spades. We got ourselves a judgment. Actually, a money judgment is kind of more worthwhile than you'd expect because we can get some HP, which would be super useful. We haven't been to our shop yet, though, so. Wait, what the hell? Oh, this room never actually finished. Also, the keepers have a new visual. That's kind of interesting. I didn't think that I didn't think it affected these, but apparently it does. Yeah, because I didn't kill that hearse, I never actually technically finished this room. That's kind of annoying. Oh, well. Come on, you. Keep her going. I think this is definitely a room to do that on. <laughs> 100% that was looking like a room to do that on. Pop through here. Double press because I'm a mad lad. You missed me. You fool, you missed me. Okay. Shop, what do you hold for me? I have so many things to give you. Okay, that's kind of good. Uh, <sighs> this game needs to stop sometimes with its bullshit. It just gives you so many fucking greed shops. It's, it's, it's annoying. You get so many of them. Oh, the quarter though. Okay, I can accept that. We're definitely going to go play the uh, the beggar now that we have the money. Champions, we don't really care too much about. We'll definitely grab that. We're only going to give a shot speed, sadly. Right. 
Play this fella. I'm surprised keepers don't have a keepers. Beggars don't have a minimap thing. This guy didn't, at least. Okay, health is great because that keeps us going on our uh, slowly decaying health while we play this guy. Restock would be fantastic if we had any shops that allowed us to purchase anything, of which we only have one left. Okay, Bozo there, proking, very nice. Very helpful indeed. Bozo seems to be coming in clutch at the right times, really. Okay, check here for a secret room. Come on, there you go. And I, I don't know where else it could be, to be honest. I guess we, I guess it's going to end up being over here, isn't it? Looks that way. Got another big room here, though, so it means automatic flush. Like I said, just why wouldn't you? Makes the room so much easier. Oh, and we just get an insane amount of money. Although, gold coin in a big room, kind of a piss about. <laughs> kind of a major piss about. Gonna be losing a lot of health to this coin. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good. We are good. Destroy these. This could definitely be our secret room, and indeed it is. More keeper boys. Just more keeper boys. God damn, we're getting so many of them at the minute. I'm loving this flush plus um, plus petrified poops combo that we've got going on. Oh my god. What on earth is happening right now? Oh, I should stop going for this. It's not worth it. Oh, what the hell? Apparently these guys hadn't initialized in the room yet, so I didn't actually get to... Uh... That's kind of annoying. I didn't actually uh, get to poop them. Sad times. Right. And here we go. Because we have Yum Heart available, I'm kind of more willing to do this. There you go. I'm not going to do it anymore. Any more than that. I will bomb you, though, because we have so many bombs right now. That we just literally don't need. We have no use for them whatsoever in terms of bombing. Another angel deal here. I'll definitely take this. Um, we, we got pretty good stuff there. Unfortunately, the speed down's not the greatest. Um... Honestly, this is kind of a hard one. I think we just go for the body here for the extra HP. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What the hell? It bombed it. Didn't expect that. And it gives us extra angel deal chance, I suppose. Um, Right. Down we go. Yeah, wasn't expecting that at all. That kind of didn't go the way I thought it would. <laughs> right. But extra HP here is fantastic, definitely. I can't believe you managed to escape that, you little shitbag. Definitely, definitely want more speed. I'm, ho I'm hoping here that we get a sack room, because we can definitely play one now. Quite easily as well. Okay, we do have some soul hearts that we probably don't want to waste too much of, but... Really, do, do we need to care? <laughs> Do we need to spend the time caring about it? Probably not. The hero font again. Wow. Item room has... Ugh. Jawburn. Really don't need that at all. We don't need to be able to fetch things. So easy for us to get stuff with this character. Because we have so many items that allow for it. For like walking over rocks and destroying stuff. We are a force to be reckoned with right now. There's one secret room. Um, bunch of extra money that we don't need. Don't even know why I took that at this point, really. You know what? This is, even though we can't get the poops, that's a room that I, I really feel like that's worthwhile on. The tower, I, I don't I don't think I want the tower, I'll admit. Very annoying room. Just risk it. We don't really care if we take damage at this point. With with the amount of extra HP, like excess HP we have right now, we just don't care. Ooh, Bertharite's really good here, because we get uh, extra we gain an extra normal, like normalized safe heart. And Dreamcatcher, because it's different. <laughs> Little Baggy is not what we want, unfortunately. I, I'm i going to check my arcade real quick and see if we've got a 
thingy crane game we don't so because this is our last chance to use money let's just buy up some stuff and see if we can get some good stuff there you go diplopia would be pretty good but i doubt we're gonna be able to get that okay some good stuff there definitely definitely restock helped out there managed to get ourselves cab and uh, not car battery um the what is it called nine volt that's the one Come on, Burza. Come on, Sack Room is actually the thing that I should be saying more. Do you know what? Annoying enemies. Oh, you were in the air, so you didn't count. Okay. Good for you, I guess. Okay. Sack Room is not the way right now, I guess. At this point, just walk into everything, because we, we can probably get a Burza play out of this. I'm just trying to get my uh, my maximum damage up with Lusty Blood, to be honest. Before we start shooting mum. Random enemies are going to be charmed from, from time to time now as well. Because of Boza. Extra hearts here and there. Good, good. Yeah, pretty easy mum fight here, to be honest. Make sure we take the negative as well. I think it's negative we want, isn't it? Yes, it is. Good, good. And there's the dream catcher. Look at that. That's a really nice little visual there. Just to remind you to watch your um, watch your cutscene between floors. I know that we don't need it, but I really wanted to show that off. I think it's a super, super cool little mechanic there. We took the negative right. I didn't just fuck that up, did I? Good. <laughs> Sometimes you just no-brain it and take the, uh, take the Polaroid because of how the game used to be. Right, cool. So we can use our flush ones every three rooms at this point. So essentially any room that's even slightly difficult, we use it on now. Well, let's keep going. Still looking for a sack room to play at any point. I'm still very much up for playing a sack room. Stud fighter could be kind of cool here, but I don't think we need it really. Yeah, because the thing is, with a sun card, sack room's going to be basically a free, completely free player. Definitely use it on this room. Unfortunately, a lot of this room is blast assist, so we can't really do anything against that. Okay, good stuff. Got a normal poop. There's the rainbow poops that I'm looking for. Here they come. Oh, this is a room that I definitely want to do. Didn't end up working out, but we did get the spirit hat. Oh my god, I, I love this character. She's just so fun. She's just so fun. How did you not eat that bomb then? Eat bomb. Okay, stop picking up that pill as well, please. I don't want to, I would, I don't want to take the pill. Oh shit, hello. Wasn't expecting you here. Oh, I keep forgetting it's full heart damage on these floors, isn't it? You don't really want to be using lethal hugs at this point, because full heart damage kind of takes over. But I think we've set ourselves up on this run to the point where we don't really need to really worry that much about that. We're going to be getting hearts from time to time. Just make sure we try to grab them whenever possible, and we should be fine. Oh, those bomb impacts are sexy. Want to see us dead. Mr. Boom there. I don't think we need Mr. Boom, do we? Right. Come on, sack room. I want in. Keep walking on all these rocks. I'm expecting one of them to hurt me. This game does that quite a lot. You know what? Again, another kind of annoying room. Loads of more money. Damn it. Wish I would have saved for this boss. Could have insta-flushed him. I would have loved to insta flush you down the toilet, my dude. It would have been great. Right, down this way. No, thank you. Up this way. We do have a dice room. Dice room could be interesting. Let's check it out. Don't really know what I'd go for at this point. I was going to say a five room would be interesting for the extra boss item. Probably do want to do that, but we'll, we'll see. The extra secret rooms um, slash extra boss item might end up being worthwhile 
We shall, we shall see. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. We push forward. Come on, Bozo. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. Bozo the clown gonna get you. Right, we're yum heart here. I just love the fact that like the the random fearing and charming as well from Bozo. Something I didn't know it did for the longest time is very valuable. Very valuable indeed. Just some flies that time around. Yeah, let's go do our boss and then we'll come back and do our five room here. We might not get anything good. I'm actually going to bet that we get conquest for some reason. I don't know why. I can just feel it. I just feel that this floor is going to be conquest. Nothing, nothing actually says that it's going to be, but I don't know. Life finds a way. Sadly, no sack room. Also, five room will be an extra chance for a sack room too, so. Could do it for that reason alone. Hug. <laughs> you don't deal contact damage, so I just hug you. Good, good. On to my boss. Ha 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 ha! It finally happened! The perfect flush! The perfect flush! I knew it would come at some point. Angel deal. Eye drops is really good here. <laughs> Might is pretty decent here. Right. Back we go. Yes, that was that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. I, I love the fact that Flush does that. It's one of those hidden things like the Bible killing mum. Or it's just like a small little thing. Little cool detail that I appreciate with this game a lot. It just it just adds to the gameplay so much. And it adds to the... Like this game has so many small little details and nuances that you wouldn't think about. Like you'd think they're kind of, like kind of insignificant. But they make a big difference to how the game is played. Haha! -ha! <laughs> you hit me but you only made me stronger. All you did is make me poop rainbows, you fool. Okay, not having a map this time is definitely annoying. These enemies are also definitely annoying. Oh my god, I've been hit by them so much. Also, it means our sun card's relatively useless on this floor, apart from if we do find the sack room. Yeah, when, whenever, whenever we come across a room like that, I'm just like, yeah, we're just gonna... Delete that. Oh, I didn't even think of fact about the fact that 9 volt works on Yum Heart as well. That's so good. So, so good. Right. Make sure we have Flush ready for the boss again in case it's the same boss. I don't think it will be, but just in case. Oh, Golden Bomb. That, that, that could be useful, this floor. 100% doing that. Okay, that's kind of horrible. Didn't realize you could spawn one of those Yum Hearts straight away. Yeah, extra charge on the Yum Hearts, fantastic here. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even occur to me. Oh, wait a minute, I just realized Secret Room's gonna be an absolute pain in the asshole to find. God damn it. We, we, we should have been shooting literally every wall, really, to find these. Don't worry about it, because Yum Heart's going to heal us in a minute. Yum Heart is going to heal us. Didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Right, boss time. Oh, it's this dude. It's lots and lots of health guy. Yep, this guy's going to give us an insane amount of HP. Because every single one of those little balls he spawns counts as its own boss. Lots and lots of HP, my dude. Are you, you alright? You gotta calm down? You gotta chill out? More HP! Yay! Every single one of these counts as its own boss killed. I spit the bombs back out at you, be careful. Look at this. <laughs> I really hope we get a sack room this floor. Another angel deal. Wasn't expecting that, but very happy with it. Extra damage. 
Gosh diggity damn, that floor's kind of crazy. Right, so, rooms we have been to. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. We have not been this way. Fairly sure. That's one of our secret rooms. Very much regret popping both of those. I mean, we've got plenty of health back there, so I don't really care, but still. Annoying. Right. We have not been this way. My god, we are killing fast now. We have sped things up quite a bit. The train is a moving. Right, come here, you. Heal up. You've not been any of these ways. Every time we kill an enemy, we get a little bit stronger in the in each room as well. Ah, oh, why did I even do it in this room? That's stupid. Right. Ah, fuck. I bombed myself. Die, Bob. Bob's Rotten Head. I kind of want Bob's Rotten Head at this point, but I think Flush is still better. But Bob's Rotten Head is amazing. <laughs> Bob's Rotten Head is like top tier viable now. Like insta-kills any boss. Right. You shouldn't be too hard. You should even give us quite a lot of hearts here. Indeed you did. Thank you. Right, second secret room's a little more on the nose. A little harder to... A little harder to find. This is definitely a room that I would normally uh, partake in a lovely bit of uh, thingy for. Flush, but not getting so lucky this time. Soul heart there as well. So this is a room that we could find our second secret room in, so let's check them. Yeah. Haven't been down here yet. Oh, there you go. We found it. We're pretty much good to move on at this point now, but... I would kind of like to find our uh, sack room if there is one available. So I kind of want to make my rounds first and make sure I've seen everywhere there is to see. Probably a bit of a pipe dream. But, and, and actually we've already been to our angel room on this floor. I'm pretty sure it takes you to the same angel room. So maybe it's not as worthwhile on this floor. Maybe we'll save it for the next floor just in case. Especially considering that floor you can't get a natural angel deal. So let's uh, head back up. So we want to be going this way. And then this way, I think. Yes, we are on the right track. Oh, wait, no. No? This way? No. So we want to go left quite a bit more. Left quite a bit more. And then up. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Now we go up from here. And then all the way to the left when we get the opportunity. And here is the boss. On the next room or room after that. Cool. We did it. We got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking matriarch they're like okay the boss was op before really bullshit so now we've just made it give you an insane amount of hp curse of the lost again fantastic exactly what i was looking for here secret room right off the bat here is fantastic hey it's binge eater not super good for us but binge eater is pretty nice like currently it's not super good for us because we don't have many items left but binge is a very very strong item and we're now up to maximum red hearts as well, which is, like, exactly what you want on this character. Do you know what? You're gonna get shat on too. Golden, golden pennies are just too common. Holy shit. <laughs> I wonder if they'll actually get nerfed. I wonder if they've already been nerfed when you guys are watching this. Because they, they, they just seem... Compared to all the other golden unlocks, like trinkets and batteries and all that jazz, it's so strong. Oh, we found one. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Damn it. We didn't get anything good. And we got a bunch of runaway hearts as well. These runaway hearts are the most annoying thing in the world. Just give me the heart. Fuck me. Give me the damn heart. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Fuck. Ah. 
My goodness. My lordy lord. It's nice of this boss to start out with some enemies that can up our damage a good amount. It's annoying that there are eyes that are just impossible to not get hit by the... Remember, we can we can bomb pretty effectively here. Is the is the jaw destroying tears? I can't tell. It seems like it is. Yes, it is. That's actually really good. I didn't know it did that. Right, we're going down. Remember? Yes, down. Good. And we'll probably use. We'll probably end up using the um, curse of the lost again. That's three in a row. I was gonna say the sun card on this floor to make it a bit quicker, but not anymore. For God's sake, game. Can I calm down? Oh, for God's sake, I got hit there. Yum Heart should save us here. We should be able to get enough charges to make it work. Another sun card. I mean, at least heal us up to full. That's at least good for one thing. Yeah, rooms like that being made a lot easier. Makes me very happy. Whoopsie. Could you pop your head up, please, so I can attack you? Thank you. Those little eyeball things are the worst. Oh, I always forget that it doesn't work on you boyos. Good. Okay, being able to destroy rocks in rooms like this isn't good. Just makes those things a whole lot more annoying to deal with. Flush those things down the bog immediately. Right, I'm not really as bothered about secret rooms this floor, I'll admit. Not really as bothered. Got another rainbow poop there. They're coming a little more hot, fast and loose than they were last time, which I'm very appreciative of. Okay, I just realized that that's a laser eye. How fast these things fire? <laughs> Stupid. Sadly, ain't no flushing these bad boys. But we can quite easily bomb out of this room. What I'm gonna do? <laughs> Damn it, it's not even the right way. A turtle heart? Not really very useful for us right now, but I'll take it. Yeah, definitely not doing this room unnecessarily. What is the point? That room's too dark. Where the hell are we going right now? Where the hell are we going right now? I'm just checking for secret rooms along the way if we can find them, but I'm not really super going after them. Okay, so we, we kind of panic went that way. Probably want to go this way now. Sadly, kind of an annoying boss fight here. Again, though, we, we can easily bomb through this if we want to. I kind of do want to. I'm already halfway through killing this guy, though, at this point. I might as well stick with it. Just to share my damage without uh, killing any enemies isn't great. I mean, well, it's not bad, but like, once bloody lust gets going, that's when we, uh, lusty blood even, that's when we really get uh, our damage pumping. My guy managed to get stuck on his own bomb. That seems kind of idiotic, my, my, my fair dude. Yeah, this will give us a soul heart, but we don't actually care. <laughs> if you could just stop chasing. There we go. Good, good. Soul Heart, Red Heart. Uh, chance for Flies to become friendly. I don't think that really helps us that much. Q there to pop that. Brimstone Ghosts, of course, the worst enemies in humanity. The worst things to ever exist. But we got them. We got them down. We are actually very, very strong, so it doesn't matter. The fact that Yum Heart's just charging quicker than our health can deplete or we can get hit is fantastic. We're just gaining health for every room that we do, pretty much. Like, unless we were really stupid and started going for the, um... Started going for the hugs at this point. We're pretty much in the clear. Which I very much like. Um, where are we heading? Did I go the wrong way again? Okay, no. Oops. Nope, we did. We did. For God's sake. For God's sake, game. Where the hell am I going? Stop sending me the wrong way. This is why I hate Curse of the Lost, because normally I have pretty good intuition with where, where the game's taking me, but at the minute, I really don't. Definitely a room I want to do that on. 
God damn it. Soul hearts that we can't take. Oh my god. What fucking wild goose chase is this bullshit? Where the hell am I going? I hate this so much. Where am I going? Fucking sun card should get rid of Curse of the Lost. It already gets rid of Curse of Darkness, I realise, but... This is just not fun. <laughs> I just don't know where I'm going at all. How have I not been in here yet? I went to dodge this. Okay, just randomly. Completely randomly. Oh, tears up. I'm definitely going to take that if we can actually use it. I don't know if it'll do anything for us. No, it won't. Oh, well. Yeah, it's like pretty obvious I was going to get hit there, wasn't it? Oh, trap door. Okay. Pretty nice. I mean, I say it's pretty nice, and then we get this literal piece of garbage. Sad times. Right. Oh, wait, this is a dead end again. Oh my god. Where are we going? Literally, I've been everywhere we can go, haven't I? I, I, I don't understand where we haven't been. Right. Where haven't we been? We're going to have to do that annoying room down here. Just to find out if there's another exit that I missed. So I, I, I think there must be. Oh, it's here! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. All of you found... All of you saw that door, didn't you? Every single one of you saw that door. Although... I'm sure one of you already has, but I see this quite a lot, and honestly, I don't really mind, but I do think it's a little silly. Some people will, like, watch the video, and they'll comment, like, they'll, they'll watch the video, and they'll see, they'll, they'll see me miss the door. They'll pause the video and comment, you missed the door at this, the, at this number, but then, like, not watch on, and then realize at the end of the video that I already found the door, and it's like, I can't retroactively see the comments mid-episode. That's not how this works. <laughs> I do always find it a little bit funny. I always appreciate tips and advice, of course, but I do find it a little funny when, like, it's literally impossible for me to act on the advice that you give. It's like I'll get uh, I'll get comments on um, on my Enter the Gungeon series from nearly three years ago on episode like 27 out of 126 saying, "Can you play uh, this character next episode?" It's like, do you understand how YouTube works? <laughs> I, I can't. No, I can't play the character you suggested because this is a series from three years ago that is already finished, that I have already recorded and uploaded all of. I can't take your suggestions on who to play next. I do apologize. Okay. In we go. In we go. Right. This is actually going to be pretty good because we can just take Binge Eater for all of these. Mum's Knife. I mean, Mum's Knife's probably pretty good for us right now, right? I feel like it would be. Let's Let's take Mum's Knife. And then for the rest of these, let's just go with all the red hearts. Because we're going to get permanent stat upgrades for these red hearts. We're trading red hearts for red hearts, so it kind of works out. And Mum's, Mum's Knife, of course, is really good for us right now. Especially with our insane tears up. We can charge it so fast. And it does six times damage at full, like, full uh, distance. So really good stuff. I never knew that it actually did more damage at further distances, but apparently it does. Apparently it does. We're going to save our sun card in case we need the healing. Doubt we will. Very highly doubt we will. Thank you. Thank you. Come on now. Ugh. Goddamn mum's knife damage. It's pretty insane. Cursed Eye again. Oh, wait. We can get a snack out of it, though. Kind of forgot we'd be able to get that. Very, very nice. Dead Sea Scroll so we can get a snack. And then here we can get dog food. 
Honestly, Binge Eater is like so fucking god tier. Like, even on characters that you don't want red health on all the time, like Blue Baby or the Keeper that we had the other day, it's still just god tier. It's so heckin' good. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hemolacria. How does Hemolacria work with this? I'm gonna take it. Hemolacria is one of my favorite items in the game. Ah, it doesn't work with Mum's Knife. It just gives us an insanely low rate of fire. Sad times. Hemolacria is one of my favorite items in the entire game. I'm pretty sure it used to work with Mum's Knife, but they got rid of it for some reason. Maybe they got rid of it in preparation for adding a new synergy, and then, like, never got the time to add the new synergy. So it just ended up with them getting rid of a synergy, and nothing more. Oh, hello. I love the new Brimstone sound as well. There's so many things, like, with Repentance that I'm still, to this day, months later, gushing over of how good it is. Okay, got all that. Soul Heart there. Got that Joker? Yes, please. Ah, oh, really? Okay, to be fair, we can get health out of it. But duality? Can we get uh, can we get health out of this? I wonder. Ah, it doesn't switch. I suppose that'd be kind of annoying if it did. That's pretty nice though. Oh, what the hell? My mum's knife just opened up the wall. Gotcha. Puppy for dummies or that. There you go. Grab, grab. It's great as well because it's always a heal. On top of everything, it's always giving us heals. Monstro's lung. At this point, it's just kind of a meme, so I'm just gonna take it. Oh, it does. It does fire out knives in a bunch of different directions. That is actually pretty good for us. I didn't realize it would be. But I'm very happy that it is. Good, good, good. So many chests. I suppose we have six luck at this point, so. Take that. Oh, really? That was the tiniest tears up. I kind of thought it'd make Monstro's Lungs knives fire in the same direction that we're firing as well, but it doesn't seem to be the case. That's okay, though. I'm not going to complain. This is already a great run. More Eternal Heartage. A Rainbow Poopy. And we are very close to our boss at this point. Where's where, where's our sun card gone? Not that we need it, but where's our sun card gone? I dropped our sun card at some point. I don't know when. Like I said, at this point, it really shouldn't matter. But still, I'm a bit confused at where it went. Come on. Die, you stupid body. There you go. I love this boss. I can't believe it, like, like how little I used to fight this boss. I think this boss is so much better than Blue Baby. But there you go. We got him. No victory lap for us. We're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Yet another fantastic one. And I will see you guys in the next one.